Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure two Cisco IP phones using CME routers. We're going to configure dial peer so that we or the phones can talk to each other, can call each other. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Dynagen and Dynamips on our Linux VM. As you can see, I've already installed it. Now this software just allows us to emulate Cisco routers, like actual image, inside the uh, virtual machine itself. We're going to create a directory called um, router. And in this router, we're going to copy a C7200 router image file. Slash home slash lowerjs slash router. Okay, and then we're just going to go into that folder to confirm that it is there. And um, we're going to create a Dynagen configuration file. This is the configuration file that I've already saved. And I'm just going to explain this briefly. So this configuration file pretty much creates both of our routers using the uh, the C7200 image. Uh, as you can see here from router 1, we have the first router connected to tap 1 and the second router connected to tap 2 from this diagram down here. And we're just going to save that. Now we can run Dynamips in the background. And then we can run Dynagen, the uh, configuration file that we made earlier. We'll start router 1, and we'll start router 2. Okay, now we can just leave this in the background. Now we'll, we're going to open up two terminals. First, we're going to telnet into router 1 which we've assigned 2521 as the port. Okay, and we're going to open up a second terminal for router 2. Telnet localhost 2522. Okay, <coughs> so you can see router 1 is now started. We're just going to say no here. Same with router 2, we're going to say no. We're going to configure router one first um, to make sure that this phone, Windows CIPC1, can communicate with it. Enable T interface FA00, which is over here. IP address 192.168.56.8 slash 24. And no shot to enable the interface. Now that it, that's um, now that the interface is up, we're just going to open up a new terminal. And we're going to c connect that interface into our bridge. Take that one up. Now we can try to confirm that here in Windows. So from Windows 1, we should be able to ping router 1's interface now. Okay, looks good. Now we can change this phone's TFTP server so that it can talk to our one. Okay, and now from our one, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the clock 1923 
November 16, 2023. And we're going into a telephony service. In telephony service, we're going to set the max e-phone to 20. Source address should be itself. Port 2000. And max directory number, let's just say 25. We're also going to create a custom system message. R1 or J. Skip. Okay, you can see the system message is already propagated into the phone and the, our phone just registered into our router. And we can create our CNF files. Now we can create our directory number one, which will have number 7888. And we're going to give it a name, Lord J1, Dylan Raver 1. And uh, we're now going to register this phone into the router itself. So ePhone 1, MAC address. Now we just need the MAC address of the phone, which you can actually just find here. Okay. And button two for the second physical button on the phone and we're going to map ePhone DN1 which is the number 7888 into the second phone sorry the second button okay and then we'll just restart the phone Now our 7888 is mapped to the second physical button of the phone. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second phone, but on R2 instead. So we're going to go to R2, enable conf t, interface FA00, IP address 192.168.56.9, which is down here. 255-255-2550 no shut to enable the interface and then we're going to our Linux VM because we need to connect that interface into our bridge tap 2 I have config tap 2 and again, we can quickly confirm that connection on Windows 2. So Windows 2 should now be able to ping um, the interface of router 2. Okay, it looks like it's worked. Now we can change the TFTP server of this phone to dot nine, which is router two. And from router two, we're just going back to setting the clock, 1927, November 16, 2023. Conf T, we're going into telephony service. We're going to set max ePhones to 20, IP source address to 192.168.56.9, which is itself, max DN to 25, and our custom system message to R2, Lord J skill. Okay, that's good news, and it looks like the phone is registered with the router. Create the CNF files. Now we're going to create a DN1 on the second phone. And the number is going to be 7988. We're going 
going to give it a name lorj2 go and live at 2 and we're going to register this phone as a whole to the router we need its mac address and we're going to assign the second physical button with our directory number one which is 7988 and we're starting the phone okay there we go now we have 7988 on uh, the second physical button of th this phone now all we need to do is to configure dial peers so that both phones can talk to each other now that they have their own numbers um, they actually still can't call each other and we can do that by configuring a dial peer for router 1 we're just going to do dial peer voice 79888 sorry 88 voip and the, de uh, the destination pattern so we're telling router one how to get to seven nine eight eight. So from router one, we it needs to know how to get to seven nine eight eight. And session target IPv four. That so that would be one and two one six eight of six dot nine. And. So we, we've essentially told R1 that if this phone dials 7988, the destination should be this IP address, which is router 2. And from router 2, it will route the call to 7988. And we can quickly just take a look at our dial peer. And we need to do the same for router 2. Otherwise, the call will st is still incomplete. So from router 2, we create a dial peer 7888. Oops. VoIP. And the destination pattern would be 7888. Session target. Running to 168 56.8. So we're telling router 2 that if we call 7888, it needs to get routed to 192.168.56.8. And show dial peer voice summary to confirm. We have 7888. Okay, now from uh, the phone, we're going to dial 7988. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, completely working now. We can end this call, and from this phone, we can dial 788. Oh, it's working. 